Hi guys, greetings of the day. Myself Vijay Tavardhan and in this video lecture session I am going to show you a solution on projection of solids and an example problem is like this. A pentagonal pyramid 25 mm sides of base and 60 mm axis length rest on HP on one of its edges of the base. Draw the projections of the pyramid when the axis is inclined to HP at 40 degree and VP at 30 degree. So according to the given condition, make sure that using a line command with a 0.5 mm thick and it is supposed to be a continuous line. And then go to applications, macros, run macro, select inside polygon, open the inside polygon, select the flat length option and it is supposed to be set for 25 mm. Since we are dealing with pentagon, it is having number of sides as 5. And click on the apply relationship, press the uh, uh, left click of the cursor anywhere on the screen so that one will get a pentagon properly. Now this pentagon is supposed to be a corner resting, sorry side resting as per the given condition. We will make sure that it is going to be the side resting. Then the side resting pentagon is going to be positioned in the HP properly. Then make use of a line command with a thickness of 0.13 millimeter. Go to tools, Intel sketch, relationship, switch on the midpoint and then draw two perpendicular bisectors. Now this is one perpendicular bisector and this is going to be the another perpendicular bisectors. Then go to tools, Intel sketch, switch off the midpoint and then say OK. Then using a line command with a thickness of 0.5 and a continuous line from the intersection of this two lines that is perpendicular bisector one has to join all the slant edges. The slant edges of the pentagon has to be completed in the top view. Now once the slant edges is completed, then using the same line command with the thickness of 0.13, start projecting each and every corner to the XY line, including the axis position. And then the axis position is extended in the front view as a 60 mm at an angle of 90 degree and then make use of a line command with a thickness of 0.5 the top of front view is going to be completed in the form of a chain uh, sorry front view is going to be completed as a triangle as per the visible and invisible edges is going to be represented and this line is supposed to be changed to the form of a chain line with a 0.13 mm thickness and after which then show that using this smart dimension the height of the pyramid is 60 millimeter and the size of the pentagon is 25 millimeter then make use of a text command start naming the corners as a b and this is going to be c d and e this will become o as well as o1 and accordingly in the front view this will be named as a dash then b dash as well as e dash then we will be having o1 dash and then we have c dash as well as d dash and then word axis is going to represent the apex position and after which the axis is inclined to HP at 40 degree so select the front view then make use of a command called as move move in such a way that C dash D dash is going to be repositioned on the X Y line at a appropriate position then make use of a rotate command rotate in such a way that C dash D dash is supposed to be a fixed point A dash that is base is rotated at an angle of 90 minus angle theta is 40 degree so that the base is rotated at an angle of 50 degree then make use of angle between command make sure that it is the axis is inclined at 40 degree to HP and then make use of a line command with the thickness of 0.13 one has to start drawing the projectors from the respective first and second stage front and top view so that all the corners will be connected properly now a dash and o dash is on the same line sorry o1 dash will project all these three lines then we have C dash D dash so we'll connect C to C and then D to D then the remaining is B and D so one can connect B and D properly and after connecting these things then using the text command one should name the corners as A, B, C, D, E and this is going to be O1 and this is going to be O. Then uh, one can say that the naming is completed then according to the rules of visibility one has to show that the boundary line is always visible that is A to B, B to O, O to E and E to A is going to be the boundary line. 
since from the top apex is nearer to the observer and base is nearer to the xy line since the base edges are invisible now changing the line style to the invisible edges with 0.5 mm thickness one can connect the base edges which are not on the boundary as a invisible line now inside the invisible base the slant edge which is passing oa is visible and outside the visible base they are, uh, inside outside the invisible base they are invisible that is cd sorry co and od is invisible and however ao is visible make this line ao as visible line and then the slant edges are completed the remaining is axis position so make use of a line command with the chain line with 0.13 mm as a thickness one has to draw the chain line and after which the axis is inclined to vp at 30 degrees so go to a line command with a continuous line and 0.13 mm as a thickness so one will draw a 30 degree line so this is called as the true angle 30 degree and then if I am going to measure the axis length, the length of the axis is getting reduced, hence we should construct the apparent angle. So for which one should go to a point command with a thickness of 2 mm, locate a reference point anywhere on the 30 degree line, go into arc by center point and 0.13 as a thickness, select the point as a reference, then the angle is supposed to be set as 60, uh, 60 mm as a radius and then using a line command one has to construct a locus line over there and again go to arc by center point with the thickness of 0.13 select the same center as the radius and sorry center and uh, the radius must be 45.96 millimeter and after which one more arc is supposed to be drawn on the locus line then make use of a line command with a thickness of 0.13 join the two ends of this line so that one will get the required angle beta which is measuring as 41 degree. Now the top view whatever we have got at it has to be repositioned on the angle beta line. Now for which one has to select the top view completely. Make use of a move command move the cursor over here one will get the end point that end point O1 has to be positioned over here properly on the end point of the beta line. And then go to a rotate command, rotate in such a way that O1 is there only and O is going to be shifted to the another end of the beta line. And then rotation gets completed, make use of a line command with the thickness of 0.13 and it should be a continuous line, start drawing the projectors from each and every corners. So the apex will be connected first to apex, then C and D is on the XY line, we will complete C and D. And then we have B. So B and E is at this location. So we will connect B to B and then we have E also. Then we have O1. So O1 is at this height. So we will connect O2, sorry O1 to O1. And then finally A is remaining. So we will connect A to A. And after which make use of the text command chat naming the respective corners. This as O dash and this is going to be the O1 dash and this will be a dash this is going to be the b dash and sorry this is going to be the b dash and this is going to be c dash not b dash so c dash and this is going to be d dash and finally this corner will be e dash and after marking all the respective corners then make use of a line command with a thickness of 0.5 and a continuous line so one has to construct the boundary line now to construct the boundary line starting with A dash to O dash, then C dash, then D dash, the projector of uh, D dash, so one has to get the end point symbol here. Now well, uh, go to the line command once again now with c dash to d dash and d dash to e dash and e dash to a dash is supposed to be the required <coughs> boundary line and after which make use of a line command since the base is nearer to the observer apex is away from the observer the base edges must be visible 
so such of the slant edges which are passing inside the visible base will become invisible that is e dash o dash and e dash t dash will become invisible and then the slant edge which is passing outside the visible base is visible so this must be o dash to b dash is a visible edge now using a line command with a thickness of 0.13 and a chain line connect o1 dash to o dash now one can see that the problem is completed in all aspects now if you are having any sort of doubts to solve this problem you can feel free to contact me and the problem is completed in all aspects and please do share this video to all your first year engineering students and also kindly subscribe to my youtube channel once again thanks for watching my video